Oh, YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraving with another video. Now, we always talk about how timing is literally everything. And it continues to be. By coincidence, by coincidence, right after John Harbaugh's press conference ended, in the press conference where he did mention that Roman, they plan to move forward with Roman as their offensive coordinator. But the way he said, we'll, we'll talk about that later when we cover the whole press conference. Anyway, um... Right after that press conference ends, literally right after this announcement comes out that the Bills have requested to interview uh, the Ravens wide receiver coach, T. Martin. And this is actually the first offensive coach that is being interviewed for another position. Just being interviewed, period. Because I, I know with a lot of Ravens fans, they're like, hey, Greg Roman... That's the best guy for the job. That's the best guy for Lamar Jackson. That is the best guy for the Baltimore Ravens to be the offensive coordinator. It's Greg Roman. And it's like, okay. But if he's really the best guy, if he really is that dude, how come nobody's interviewing him? How come, how come we haven't heard any interest in one Greg Roman? How come since Greg Roman is that dude, nobody's interested in him? We haven't heard a peep, nothing, not even a rumor that people are interested in Greg Roman. It's just something that makes you think. But this is a move, a possible move. Now, it is just an interview for now, and it is just a request for an interview for now. Hopefully, Ravens grant that request and allow T. Martin to blossom. I hope he gets it. I hope he gets it for his sake. Not necessarily for Ravens' sake, because uh, we had to get another wide receiver coach. And uh, I, I do, cause, again, the, the wide receivers... They did improve this year. There was an improvement in the wide receivers. There was an improvement in the passing game. Now, there still has to be more improvements, but we'll talk about that later. But th this just says so much. This says so much. But I, I do hope that T. Martin, I hope he not only interviews for it, but actually gets the job. Because that is one thing about Harbaugh. <laughs> you can say a lot of things about Harbaugh, but again, he puts guys on. A lot of guys come to the Ravens, uh, especially more so defensively, but overall, a lot of guys come to the Ravens. They end up getting coaching opportunities at, for the Ravens, and then they blossom and, and go get another opportunity somewhere else, and a bigger opportunity. Um, he does not hold guys back as far as coaches and stuff. He lets them go do their thing and, and go, go be the best that you could possibly be. Go for it. Uh, and I appreciate that about him. Uh, so hopefully, again, this is another case where that does end up happening. Now, if T. Martin, just imagine, because a lot of Ravens fans have already been imagining T. Martin as the Ravens offensive coordinator, because something that a lot of people envisioned um, was that with well, Greg Roman, if the Ravens were to move on from him, whether now, whether in the short term future or in the long term future. A lot of people envision, all right, T. Martin, he got some experience as an offensive coordinator in college. He could, he could take over for when Greg Roman leaves or when Greg Roman, whatever happened with Greg Roman. He could take over after Greg Roman. Um, but now there will be a big change of plans if he does get this job. Because he got to get it first because he got some competition and whatnot. He's not the only person interviewing. Um, but this does have a lot of Ravens fans shooketh. Shooketh and wondering like, man, like why, 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 why? And it's crazy because it's like they they find they, they they get a wide receiver coach who has shown improvement with the team. It's like you finally get one, and, and you know you could kind of see where this whole thing with T. Martin is headed. You can see it, even though I think that the Ravens would probably go to James Urban first if anything happened with Greg Roman. But we'll see. But you kind of see that it's headed that T. Martin could have an opportunity to possibly be a Ravens offensive coordinator in the future. But then that would all be taken away by the Buffalo Bills. Now, if he went over there, oh, he, he would have some nice weapons at his disposal. Josh Allen, oh, amazing quarterback. Amazing. Does his thing. And his career started off, it started off all right. But then when he got Stephon Hicks, oh, that thing shoo, took off. Took off. Um, the way that offense is ran. Uh, they they use their guys. You know, the run game ain't really their bread and butter. Uh, but the passing game, oh, they not afraid to take those shots. Uh, they are very aggressive. They are high-powered. And everybody gets a piece. 
They got Stefan Diggs. They got Cole Beasley. They um have Gabe Davis, who definitely showed himself in that playoff game. They they were like, all right, y'all want to take away Stefan Diggs? Oh, yeah, no problem. Oh, we got Gabe Davis over here to go do his thing. And what he had, 400 yards? I mean, excuse me, four touchdowns and like 200 yards? Went off. And, and again, I know Bills fans, that like – had to be the worst because you, you do everything right. Minus play defense. But you do everything right and you still lose. Oof. Painful. 13 seconds. Like, who's, who's scoring a field goal with 13 seconds? Like, ain't nobody doing that. But anyway, uh, my point is Dawson Knox. I don't know if I mentioned him earlier. Single tear. But they have guys. They have weapons there. Got to get the offensive line a little bit better. But you have some guys there. You got a nice core. You got a nice young group of uh, of. Players that can make some plays happen. And if you are given that, it, it would almost be hard for you to fail. And then from there, he could possibly get the head coaching job somewhere else. Like Brian Dabal, he, he, he's went to the, uh, to the Giants, I believe. And he's getting to be their head coach. So it's opportunities out there. So we'll see what happens with this whole T. Martin uh, thing with the Bills. I'm rooting for him. I really am. I hope he gets it. I, I really do. I hope he gets it. Um, it wouldn't really benefit Ravens, though. That'd be tough. But it would benefit T. Martin. And, and, I, and I am rooting for him to do well wherever he goes, wherever he ends up. So just like T. Martin could be when it comes to being with the Baltimore Ravens very soon, depending on how the interview goes, I'm out.